This is Pokemon's brand new Charizard EX collection box. And today we're going to be taking a look and seeing what comes inside this awesome box, checking out the promos and the packs to see if we can pull anything good and to see whether or not it's worth picking up. But anyways, without any further ado, let's go down to the minicamp and rep this box. So right here is the magnificent Charizard EX collection box. And honestly, I think this is one of the coolest boxes Pokemon has actually put together in the last little bit. Just because it's, I mean, it, one, it's Charizard, which is like... You can't go wrong with the Charizard box. And also they're giving us a full art promo, which sometimes they will just give us like a regular EX. So I think the fact that they give us the full art Terra promo, honestly says they went above and beyond with this. And I really, really like that. And also this box is, I would say, I guess it, it does say premium collection down there. And I mean, I would say it's pretty premium as you're gonna get the sleeves in the top along with an actually, I think this is the first time Pokemon's ever done this. You are going to get a card stand with this. So you actually have a, fun way, I guess, outside of a binder to display the Charizard card it comes with, or, I mean, any other card. To be honest, I'm probably going to be using that card stand behind there as kind of my new uh, corner card of the week. I don't have it up this week just because I didn't do a poll and I don't want to just fake one, so we'll be doing a poll probably shortly after this video for Wednesday's video, but yeah, no, I think it's a really, really cool thing that they added, and then you also are going to get uh, Charmeleon and Charmander cards. They're uh, they're not promos, but they will have a cool holographic pattern on them, similar to like the Alakazam box or the Annihilate BX box before that. But I think overall, I would say that this box is a really, really good value for what you're getting. I think, now I have seen some different stores be kind of variable on the pricing of it. So depending on where you get this, I would always say check out a local card shop. That's probably where you're going to find them the cheapest. I think you can get them for around 55 or $60 Canadian before tax. I don't know how that kind of translates to US. So it's probably around 45 or $40 US. But I don't know. I think for if you can get it around that price point, for the six packs you get, a full art promo, a card stand, and some sleeves. I would say it's a pretty good value initially, um, but I think if you're paying any more than that, I, it's kind of a little tough to go on, especially when it seems like Obsidian Flames, you can just hit a Charizard every time you open it. But I guess let's quickly open it up here and we'll, we'll rip this box open and actually get into it for the first time here. So sliding the box out here and honestly, I will definitely give you kind of my Nate Collects recommendations of this box. If you're going to do anything, even if you're kind of hesitant about picking up this box, I would say pick it up, stash it for a bit, especially for like a ring investment standpoint. Like this box is super awesome. It's a Charizard EX box. The last time we got a technically a Charizard EX box, I mean, good luck finding it for any less than 150, sometimes $200. Like, it went up there a lot. So, especially with this one having more packs in it, I could uh, definitely see this one rising well above that value in the near future, especially when it starts getting harder and harder to find. So, I would say uh, if you are looking for something to kind of stash for the future and kind of, you know, hold on to as like a Pokemon investing thing, I would definitely recommend this box is kind of the uh, the best one so far, I think, in Scarlet and Violet, other than maybe the Mew UPC. Yeah, so there is a lot of stuff in here, actually. Surprisingly, I didn't even expect there to be this much in here, but yeah, no, there is some pretty cool darn stuff in here. Okay, let's see if we can get the Charizard promo out without it dinging itself too bad and I, eh, I mean honestly for a promo that looks pretty good for me i guess we could check out the promos here first so of course we're going to get the that guess non-promos first here with the charmeleon and the charmander here and i mean um looking at it they didn't actually do kind of that sparkly hollow pattern at least what it looks like kind of like the alec actually i think i have an alakazam one off to the side yeah so i can guess you can see from comparison wise yeah you could tell immediately so it kind of has uh for the abra one here in the cadaver one it kind of has this like bubbly hollow pattern which i I honestly think it's way better. Now, I don't know, maybe this is something that just did for 151, because I know the uh, Electabuzz card had it too, but this one just seems like kind of a normal, rare, hollow pattern on there, which isn't too bad. I still could really, really like it, and especially it's a Charmander, so that's cool. But yeah, I would say that this one is a little bit, uh, a little bit better in my opinion. But of course, most people aren't really gonna care about that. They're going to care about this card here, which is the Charizard EX promo. Of course, it is actually the same moveset as the other Charizard, so if you are looking for this for a deck, I mean, it's probably not a bad way to pick it up, especially when some of these cards still sit around $45, $30, I think, for the full art one. So, not too shabby as a way to pick it up just for the card alone. So, yeah, so it looks, I mean, it's a Charizard Terra card. They all look really, really nice. I do think I like this one better than the gold one, just because the way the colors sit on there, I think the plain white background really does do it justice. And I guess the different artwork on there is super nice to get, because, I mean, they could have just reprinted the regular card and slapped it in, but they didn't. So, I do really appreciate that one. So dark Terra Charizard right there.
right there looking very, very awesome. We'll set him to the back. And I guess we can check out the other accoutrements that come in the box. So first up here, we're going to get a box of, or a, not a box, Nate, a pack of sleeves. And now, I mean, there are Charizard sleeves. They're very cool. My only gripe with these ones is they are kind of that new matted Pokemon one where you can, like, it's very opaque. Like, you can see, like, that should be clear, but you can not see through it very well. So it kind of always tends to dampen the cards a little bit, I find. But honestly, I think the most exciting addition in this box is going to be this. And yes, it doesn't look like much, but this is going to be the card stand that comes in the box. So, I mean, this is the first time Pokemon's actually done such a thing. Thing. Okay, is it magnets? Oh, it is magnets. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's honestly awesome So you can actually slot your card in there. I guess like almost like a PSA slab I guess we'll try it with Charizard here So he just fits nicely in there and then do you just kind of oh I guess you just kind of sit it on there and then just oh it just magnets in like that And then look at that. It's perfectly protected. I mean like that's super super nice And then it also does come with a little I guess stand for it too So we'll quickly slide this out and see how that kind of sits on here because it should go something like this, I believe, if it goes in correctly, if I can get it in there. I, oh, I guess that's it. Okay, so yeah, it just sits in like that. It displays on kind of a nice little angle, but yeah, that is honestly one of the best things I think they could have included in this box, because I think it's a little better than sleeves, especially for like, I don't know, just have this Charizard card like on a desk somewhere. That's a really, really nice way to display it, especially if you even put like a more kind of valuable card in there too, so that's really, really nice. I really do like that one. So I guess we'll leave our Charizard in his brand new card stand there for the video, and I guess we can quickly now go on to the packs, which I know is going to be kind of the main part for a, a lot of people opening this box up. So we are going to get, uh, if I can organize these right, so two Scarlet and Violet there, I believe two Paldea Evolved, and then two Obsidian Flames. So it's a 2-2-2 two, two, two line, but I think that that's pretty good. I, I don't mind getting Obsidian Flames or Paldea Evolved. I mean, Scarlet and Violet base isn't my personal favorite, but I know a lot of people really do like this set and are actually, I think, still trying to master set it. So, hey, that's pretty cool. So I think we'll go from, I guess, oldest to newest here. So we'll start off with SV base, which I mean, I guess Miriam is still kind of the top dog card in here. A Gardevoir would be really, really nice too, because I did end up trading away my other Gardevoir, so I would need another one for the binder, but uh, we'll go through this one, see if we can get something really cool out of this, and kind of see how the, the hits kind of fare in this box, because so far, I mean, a Charizard out of it is already really cool enough, but we'll see what's going to come in here, Sculvit and Arboliva, but yeah, honestly, I feel like for this box, if you can hit one more card, like, that already enough is, like, probably not far off of, like, a break even for the box, just because the Charizard, like, is probably going to be so expensive after the fact, just because it is kind of a full art Zard, so we'll see if we can kind of get something of decent return on this. Professor's research there into a Viper and then into an Annihilate. But yeah, I would definitely love to know in the comments down below if you guys are planning on picking this box up. I'm sure a lot of you are. I think it kind of slipped under the release kind of radar for a lot of people, so I feel like a lot of people might not even know that this box was coming out or whatnot, but it is definitely a really, really nice box to pick up, and I think it's really, really cool that they did it. So a Lavatar there into a Mash Chief, and then a Luxray. All right, second pack of Paldea Evolved up here. Let's see what we are bound to get. Hopefully, we can hit an Iono. I really need one. Like, honestly, even the regular rare one, I will more than gladly take Clovel there into a Jet Energy, into a Fighting Olat. Mabosh Chief into a Magikarp, a Pupitar, and then a Surluge there. That leaves us down to our two packs of Obsidian Flames with no hits so far out of this box, so well, I don't know guys, we're kind of we're swinging a little low. I mean, Obsidian Flames loves to just hand out Charizards, it feels like, so maybe this Charizard box will just have another Charizard in there. But we'll have to slow roll this one to see Palpatoad there, Stoutland into a Frogadier, Drampa into a Litwick. What's going to be behind this one? Just a Charcadet. Oh, I, oh, the Dark Ride troll be there. I saw that kind of little like reflective, almost looking like a texture pattern. But no, it is just a regular hollow there, which unfortunately leaves us to our last pack of the video, which is going to be an Obsidian Flames Charizard pack. So. I don't know guys, let's see if this last pack magic here can kind of live up to the hype and deliver something good, like even just an EX or something like that. So 
Let's see what Obsidian Flames is cooking up on this last pack magic here. Mawile there into a Bufalant, a Bronzong into a Darumaka, and a Ente Hollow. Oh boy. So it seems like the only hit we got was the one that came in the front of the box. So, I mean, overall, I still think it's a really, really awesome box to, you know, pick up, especially with the accoutrements that come with it. The Charizard, Charizard standalone. That's, I mean, I think that's really, really cool. Is it worth kind of the $50, $60 price tag? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I'll leave that up to you guys to determine. I feel like if you can get some decent hits out of it, then yes, I would say it is. But, I mean, if you are a Charizard fan or just looking for a box to kind of stash for the future, I would definitely say that this one is a good pickup for sure. But anyways, guys, if you did like the video, I'd really appreciate it if you dropped a like and sub below. But anyways, this has been another episode of Nate Collects, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.